Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, December 8th, and it is time for another daily devotion. And uh, hopefully we are finishing up false prophets today. Um, actually, this is not false prophets, but false disciples. So Monday was a little bit much more geared to, to ministers. Yesterday was a little bit of a combination of the two of a minister and everybody else and today is pretty much everybody it is Matthew 7 21 through 23 not everyone who says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. As much as we don't like to talk about false prophets, this is one we probably like to talk about less. We like to have this idea that everybody who goes to church follows Jesus Christ. Everybody who mentions the name of Jesus follows Jesus Christ. But it's just not the case. Uh, you know, it's easier to look back on history and, and really see the people like um, things that jump to my mind, the Crusades, where people use the name of Jesus to go and slaughter people throughout the Middle, Middle East. They did not do the will of Jesus. Then we see people like the Inquisition, uh, where people were converting people to Christianity by threatening torture or murder, or driving out evil by, you know, torture. That had nothing to do with Jesus Christ, even though people used the name of Jesus Christ. In the Americas, we forced Native Americans to become Christian and said, you either convert or you will not survive. That has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. In our own day and age, we have people who use the name of Jesus for every reason under the sun. Uh, trying to get your vote trying to say, oh, we're just following Jesus, but because of that, we're uh, oppressing people who are African-American, women, people who are gay, the LBG community as a whole. And they say that because they're doing it for Jesus, but they're not. Anytime that there is hate, anytime there is oppression, the message of Jesus Christ is not in them. And so throughout the world, we have people who claim Jesus, but whose actions show that they don't really know what they're talking about. Then we get the uncomfortable, highly uncomfortable understanding that we're not supposed to use these verses to judge other people. It's so one of Jesus' really strong messages is we don't judge other people. That's, that's God's job. So then that means that we're supposed to look at ourselves to see if we are true or false disciples. Are we doing the work of Jesus? There's good news and bad news about this. The bad news is that none of us are perfect disciples. None of us have our entire lives where we live out the gospel of Jesus. None of us fully love our God. And none of us fully love our neighbor. And not all of our actions show either of those loves. That's the bad news. The good news is 
most of us, if not all of us, also have places in our lives where we are following Jesus Christ. <clears throat> where we are living out the command to love where we're doing our best to love God and we are doing our best to love our neighbor. The great part about Jesus is we are known. We are, we were selected, we were chosen before life began. We were loved before life began. And so when we stand beside before God and we say, Lord, Lord, Jesus is going to say, you're my, you're my chosen, and I love you, and your sins have been forgiven. That is great news for the kingdom of heaven, or at least for heaven. But the kingdom of heaven starts today. It actually started the instant grace was in your life. So part of our command is to be a true and faithful disciple while we're here on earth to where we live with God now. Where we are following God now and where Jesus claims us as our brother and sisters today. So we can be assured that we're going to be saved. We can be assured that we are going to be forgiven. But at the same time, we can also try every day to follow Jesus, to live out the call that Jesus has for us to be the true and faithful disciple and not one who oppresses or hates or uses Jesus to divide. Let's pray. Holy Lord, it is hard to follow you, but the joys of when we do it are beyond compare. There are times when we don't love we don't love you the way we should. We don't love our neighbor the way we should. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for still calling us brother and sisters. And help us to live a life of love following in your teachings and your gospel. Amen.